Hao Tong Sui. Uh, welcome to our fifth lesson for year seven. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit more on greetings and we're going to start looking at introductions, how we introduce ourselves and other people as well. Okay, so I'll just get rid of this. There's a few um, words I would like us to go over first. So let me put up the characters. So there's this one, there's that one, there's this one, that one. They should be looking very familiar to you by now. That one and that one. We covered these last week and we're going to use them today as well. So firstly we have, let's go through our pronouns. We have war for I, we have ta for he, I'll just turn that over. We have ta for she, so two types of ta's, still pronounced the same. And now we have some of our greetings. Now this greeting here uses the character ni, which means you. So we'll turn it over. We have ni hao, which all of you know now. So ni hao for hello. Now I haven't, um, you'll notice everyone, I've written the English translation here in red, but I haven't done that for these next three, mostly because we've been covering this for a lot. So you guys really should know this by now. So ni hao, hello, you guys know that. This is nin hao, the polite hello, nin hao, and zai jin, for goodbye, zai jin. Okay, now I'll just put these to one side. We're gonna come back to them got some other words to go over with you as well so we covered these ones last week as well so this one that one and that one okay now this one we'll go through first um, you guys should know who that is that's me Lao Shu teacher Lao Shu now we have our name for uncle Shu 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 Shu, okay. And now we have A Yi, which is our name for auntie. A Yi, sounds like the English for auntie too, doesn't it? A Yi, okay. I have one more person to introduce to you. Um, this time I've written it in red too, and you'll see why later on. So this is Ma Ding. Let's suppose you have a friend called Martin. In Chinese, his name is Ma Ding. Okay, so Ma Ding, we'll put that up there. Now we're going to use shu shu and ai and I'm going to introduce how we use these greetings again. So we'll we'll go over, we'll just revise it a little bit. So I suppose we're going to say hello to our friend. We're going to say hello to shu shu and then we're going to say goodbye to ai. So it would look like this. Ma ding ni hao. So hello hello friend. Keep in mind that you have the person first and the greeting second. Well, we will say, hello, Martin. G'day, Martin. And say, ma ding, ni hao. Okay. Shu shu. So, shu shu, nin hao. Same thing again. Applied greeting for shu shu. A yi zai jian. So, farewell. See you later, auntie. But the name for, of the person first, sorry, the name of the person first then whatever greeting you're going to use. And that's the grammar order. Ai Sai Jin. Right, so let me turn these over so you can see it in English. Well, see it in pinyin. Sorry, not in English, but in pinyin. Ma Ding. Ni Hao. So, hello, Martin. Shu Shu. Nian Hao. Ai. Zai Jin. As I'm saying this, everyone, it's great for you to have a go at saying it yourselves because this is all part of learning a language. We hear it and we speak it. Okay, now let me put some of these away. I'm going to keep Ma Ding there. We'll put that away. Some other things I would like to show you. So I'm going to introduce some names. Let's put Ma Ding over there. These are some common Chinese surnames or family names. So we're going to take a look at the character. All right, so we have 
Um, actually, I'll just put Martin up there. He'll come back. He'll come back. Okay, so we have the... That's one surname. Actually, no, some are, no, quite a few people with the surname Li. Um, this is Wang. And this one, turn it over. Shang. Okay, so Wang, Li, Shang. So, let's suppose you have a Chinese teacher whose name, is, his surname is Wang. So, we could call him uh, Mr. Wang. Or... If we're talking to him in Chinese, have his surname first, then Lao Shi, Wang Lao Shi. Okay. So if I was going to say hello to um, Wang Lao Shi, what greeting am I going to need? Keep in mind he's a teacher. I'll just pull these greetings out. You will need Nin Hao. Whoops, let's make sure you can see that. Wang Lao Shi Nin Hao. We're going to write it in characters. It would look exactly like this. Wang Lao Shi Nin Hao. Okay, let's suppose. I'll just put Wang over here for a moment. Let's suppose you have a teacher named Zhang. So it's Mr. Zhang or Mrs. Zhang. So, and we're going to say goodbye. It would look like this. Zhang Lao Shi Zai Jian. So goodbye, teacher Zhang. It totally in pinyin. Looks like this. Zhang Lao Shi Zai Jian. In characters, it will look like this. Oops, I've got that just right. Okay. Zhang Lao Shi Zai Jian. Okay, now a few more things to introduce. So we've got our common surnames. Oops, excuse me, I'll get that out of the way. So Wang, Li, and Zhang. Now here are some common first names. I'll put these out here, and we've already had we've already had Ma Ding, which is Ma Ding's more of an English name that's been um, used that's been translated into Chinese. So it actually uses the character for horse Ma, and it uses the character for Ding because it sounds very similar to Tin for Martin. Okay, so we've got Ma Ding. Now here's another character. Here's another very common Chinese name, Lili. Which means beautiful. It's a very common girl's name. And this is Xiao Wei. Xiao Wei. Okay. So we will go we're going to take a look at a few greetings um, involving these. Actually, sorry, not greetings, we're up to introductions. So we're going to learn how to introduce uh, these people here. Now before we do some introductions. Let me take these away. There are two words that we really need to know for the moment uh, for introducing our, either ourselves or other people. So I'll just put that up there. Okay, they are these two words. So here are the characters. Now, you would have heard me say these before in class. So this is shu. Shu means is or am. And this one is jiao. Jiao means called. Okay, so let's put these aside for the moment. I'm going to keep shirt there. If I was going to say my name is my Martin, I could say this. Wo shi ma ding. So I am Martin. Let's have a look at the characters. So, I thought, sorry, I'll make it look more like a sentence here. Wo shi ma ding. Okay. Now, you can say jiao as well. Wo jiao ma ding. I'm called Martin. So, that's another way of introducing yourself as well. Now, if you're Chinese, 
And in Chinese culture, the surname will come first. So let's keep all there. Sorry, I got rid of that. And say so this person's name is Li. Then we change it a little bit. Wo Jiao Li Ma Ding. Oops, I said Ding wrong. <laughs> it's Ma Ding. <coughs> I'll double check just to make sure. See, even I have to keep on reminding myself. Ma Ding. Wo Jiao Li Ma Ding. Okay. So you can say Jiao, you could use Shu. Wo Shu. Li Ma Ding. Okay. So you could do that. Now, so that's two ways of introducing yourself using either sh or jiao. Now let's set up a couple of things here. Okay, let's suppose we have a few people here. We've got Li Ma Ding, We've got Li Li, Shang Li Li. So we've got two Chinese people here, and then we have Wang, Xiaowei, just standing, whoops, they're not quite in. And we want to introduce those people. So we're just going to imagine a little bit. So imagine you are Li Ma Ding. Actually, let's turn these over a little bit first, just to make it a bit easier for everyone. So we've got Li Ma Ding. We've got Zhang Li Li. Whoops, sorry, I just bumped the stand. Wang Xiaowei, so we have our surnames, our family names, and then our first names. So remember, this is a, like I said just before, very important part of Chinese culture. You're always introduced by your family name first and your own name second. Okay, so you are introducing yourself and you are Ma Ding, so you are going to use Wo. Oh, that doesn't quite fit this. <laughs> I'll just put that back here. Now you can read it. Wo shi. Wo shi. Li ma ding. Oops, let's get these guys out of the way. Sorry about that. Wo shi. Li ma ding. Okay, so I am Li Martin or Li ma ding. Okay, now. Some one of your friends comes along and you're introducing her. So Ta Shu. Well actually we could use Ta Jiao. We could use either. Ta Jiao. We're introducing that person. Ta Jiao. Um let's see, I think it was Zhang. Shang Li Li. Ta Jiao. Shang Li Li. Let's turn that over. Ta Jiao. Zhang. Lili. Okay, so somebody else is coming along. We've got ta for he. We've got to have that he ta. Remember, this is he and that's she. So ta. Whoops, sorry, my thumb's in the way. Ta. Ta. Okay. Ta. Jiao. We can mix and match these names. Um, I'll have to use Martin again because Martin's a, a boy's name. Ta Jiao Shang Ma Ding. Okay, now one last one. This is a girl's name, Xiao Wei. And we're going to change this to uh, the female Ta. Ta Jiao Shang Xiao Wei. Okay. Now I'm going to set up a bit of a guessing game for you guys. We'll see if you can work out which, which characters are which. Okay, question number one. Uh, which character is the pronoun for ta he? This one. Which character is the pronoun for wo? Too easy. Okay, it's this one. It's this one we've been doing a lot of. And what about Ta Shi? Up here. Okay. Which character says Nin Hao? Too easy. Okay. Zai Jin for goodbye. 
And then that word that we le always learned first in Chinese, ni hao. Ni hao. Why do we learn words like ni hao first when we're learning other languages? Because that's the main point about learning a language, being able to say hello to somebody, getting to know who somebody is. Okay, let me move these along. Which character is the, or characters, um, is the one for called? Jiao. It's one right in the centre. Okay. Which um, card says, Lao Shi for teacher? This one up here. Lao Shi. Which character... Oh, sorry, which characters or character says Ah Yi Auntie? This one here. Ah Yi. Okay. Which one says Shu Shu Uncle? That one. And the last one, do you know what is this one is? This is Sh for is or am. Okay. Do keep that in mind, everyone, that sometimes a word in Chinese will have, could be worth one or the other word in English as well. You find this a lot when you're learning other languages. Okay, last one. This is probably our hardest section of characters because we haven't looked at these until today. And they're all dealing with names too. So, can you remember which is the surname? Li. This one here. Which one is the surname Shang? This one up here. Which one is the surname Wang? That one there. Okay, which one is the first name Ma Ding? This one here. Which one is the first name Lili? Just up there. And our last one, do you remember what this is? This is a, here's a hint. This character means small. Xiao. So it is. Xiao Wei. Okay. Now that is everything from me, everybody. So year sevens you'll find next to this um, clip I've pasted it up in Classroom. There is also a five question quiz. Please have a go at that. Have a good week. Uh, don't forget the Odonata Challenge, which I've also posted up on Classroom as well. Um, please have a go at that too, especially if you want to extend yourself and really improve your Chinese. That would be fantastic. Okay, Zajin, and catch you next week. Have a great week.